Hey guys, it's Rayella and welcome back to another video. So we're back today with another Animal Crossing video and this time I've got a little island tour update for you. So since my last one there has been a few changes which I'm going to go walk around and show you. So I thought we would start from the airport um, and the main entrance into the island and sort of just walk around and I can fill you in on everything that I've done. Obviously there are still parts that are a complete work in progress so if you see any like uh, empty spaces or unfinished pathing and stuff you can just know that it is due to be finished very soon. Uh, so we first walk up into uh, the island and we've got these flowers on either side and just this nice little pathway covered by the hedges. Um, I do have to say the hedges I'm in love with but I've run out of weeds so I need to go on a few island tours to uh, get some more so I can have all the hedges that I want. Um, on arrival, I figured just for my guests as they arrive or when they leave, they can pop in here and get some free DIYs. Um, I did have them up on this side as well, but they, uh, those ones have gone now. They've been taken, so I've just got the four. I actually think I've got one in my pocket. Yes, let's uh, pop that up there. Um, and if you've seen all those bells in my pocket, it is because I just sold some turnips on a friend's island, so no need to be alarmed. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I think if you would like me to, I can include the creator code for this down below. Uh, let me know in the comments if that would be something that you would want. And um, then we go up here and we will go start at the left because this is the end. So I, after the, to the left of the shop, I haven't done anything else. So uh, we have got Nook's Cranny here. It is the updated one. And I've left this little part in front of the box uh, with a path rather than flowers, which it used to be. Because if I want to use that box at night, I don't want to be trampling in my flowers. And we've just got some pretty uh, pink and white hyacinths here. Um, this table and chairs, I love, absolutely love the cute items. And I really like the colours I've got in this, so I'm happy with that. Uh, beside uh, Nook's Cranny and beside Able Sisters, we've got the little drinks machine if you need a cat pick-me-up. Um, and I also have this little signpost which shows Nook's Cranny is going to be to the left. Then in here, of course, I've got Able Sisters. I don't really like these flowers that I've put here, so I probably will change those up uh, to something a little bit cuter. And there's Flurry. She is so cute. Look at her. You can barely see her behind the hedge. Um, and then we've got this sign of post, of course, saying you're on your way to Able Sisters with the snacks machine, because who doesn't want a snack when you're shopping? Um, and in here is my little coffee area. So this is probably my favorite part of the island because I love coffee. Um, again, this is a custom design on the stall, but we've got the cream and sugar, the espresso machine, um, a little menu sign, which I actually just picked up the other day, but it fits perfectly. And this cacao tree with some cute little tables and chairs with some decorative items on there as well. Yeah, so I really like it. I haven't actually seen any of my villagers sitting in here yet, which makes me sad, but I'm sure they will one day. Flurry, are you thinking about it? Maybe. <laughs> oh, she maybe she actually is going in. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Look at her. Well, I hope she enjoys it in there. I hope she gets a coffee. <laughs> Wait. What is she doing? She's watering my plant. That is cute. Now she's got her own drink, very cute flurry. Um, in front of my uh, resident services, I actually have only done this, like this is nothing special, it's a bit bland, I haven't done much to that yet, but that is something that I will need to work on. Um, and then we have got this little way here, so there's no path of course, but this brings me into one of my first um, flower breeding, uh, Patches. So this is not to crossbreed, this is more so just so that I water them and get multiple of these because these are some of my favourite flowers and I would like to get some more of these in the, the colours that's planted. Um, and I did get my very first gold rose today, I don't know how because nobody's watered it with a gold watering can, but I'm not going to complain. So yes, I've got my first gold rose which is very exciting. So we've got those flowers and then let's see, where can we go to next? Ah uh, yes, so in here we have got just a little playground, I just put the sand down and then we've got this play frame and a sand uh, sandbox, nothing too exciting going on there but I thought it was cute and then a little romantic uh, table by the river if you wanted to sit down and have a talk with someone perhaps. Uh, moving up here, I will go to the very left again, oh I need to go in here uh, just to show you what's going on, so here we have Rodney's house. So what I've done 
is I have color coordinated the flowers with each of the houses. So Rodney's got red. Uh, I didn't know what other color to do. I would have done blue, but I don't know if any of the others have red. So that's why I did it. Um, we've got the different breeds up here and also here. And I think it just looks really nice having the same colors. Uh, Humphrey, he's got black. <laughs> I haven't got enough black flowers to put in here yet. So uh, that's why it's a little bit empty. I can hear a balloon. Oh, we're gonna have to catch that. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it quickly. Oh no, it's going into the flowers. Let me get the balloon, I shall be right back. Okay, so I got the balloon, we're back. Uh, and here we have Puddle's house. So Puddle's is the new villager that I got. Um, I've put pink, because her house is pink and I thought it fits very well. Um, I'll not go speak to anyone today because I think maybe that will be an another video. And here we've got Diva's house. Sadly, I don't have very many purple flowers just yet, so she's only got this sad little one. But uh, hopefully soon that will change for her. So we go over this bridge and then we'll start to the left because that's where I've got most going on. So I've redone completely in my museum. It used to be at the front of the island, now it's moved back. Uh, we have got these little posters, so to show there's fish and uh, butterflies and insects and dinosaurs and stuff like that. Um, I have actually got a new creator one that I have to put on there because it also shows artwork. So I do have to change this, uh, which will be done. And so you go up here and you've got this awesome, just beautiful like flowers everywhere with the lovely tables and chairs on either side. Again, keeping with the symmetry, which is what I love. And you've got the uh, waterfalls in the back with the trees. I just think that view is beautiful. And also, of course, I finally found my favorite fossil. Oh, I was so happy when I found it because this just looks perfect in front of my museum and yeah, I love it. So <laughs> that's that. Um, over here is my house, which unfortunately I've had to take away the ramps because you're only allowed to have eight in total and I had eight before I moved my museum. Um, so I moved the museum and then realized, oh boy, what am I going to do? Um, the other inclines I have are all at the other side of my island and they kind of have to be there. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo my whole house, but I do have this cute little farm area. I do definitely wanna keep farm when I move my house around. Um, but yeah, this is my house at the minute. It's completely, uh, oh, hello, Billy. <laughs> he wants to talk to me. Uh, my house is completely not very good at all. I just kind of chucked all these flowers here, random bushes everywhere, so that will definitely be updated. Uh, but let me speak to Billy and see what he wants from me. Okay, guys, so we're back again and just to the right of my house, I have got my main flower breeding patch. So, oh, I have missed a flower. Oh, no, I haven't. That flower is supposed to be there. Never mind. I just need more orange to put here beside it. Uh, but yeah, we've got the cosmos, the mums, some hyacinths and the tulips. Uh, you will see the other ones uh, over on the other side of my island. But yes, yeah, so this area here is completely blank. Um, there is nothing. Let me just pick up that whopping a thousand bells. As you'll see, I don't bother <laughs> putting that back. So yes, if we go back this way, back past these houses, and then this time we're going to go straight across this way. That will take us to the other side of the island where again, we've got the houses. So I feel like I'll go... Uh, I'll, I'll go to the top and work my way down so that I can sort of talk you through everything. So starting here, we've got my orchard. Um, we've got all of the flowers, uh, flowers, all of the trees that are not my native fruits growing here. And when they harvest, then of course they sell for quite a nice amount of money. And then down here we go. We've got my secret beach, which I love. I just think it's so cute and peaceful. I think it's really sweet, my secret beach. <laughs> so then if we come back up here, and then we shall go back down here. So as you can see, I've used a lot of like the double ramps. So I have two ramps here, two ramps there. Um, that's exactly why <laughs> I don't have enough ramps. Uh, space for ramps, I should say. Uh, okay, so then in here to the left, we have got this little, um, foresty area it's got a bike it's got some few flowers there just a little pathway and those small waterfalls and then over here is another little picnic area but this time it's in the forest rather than on the beach so if i go down here then we have as well just got um a nice little place to sit and have a relaxation beside a pond if you wish to 
So first house up here, we've got Maddie. She has got all of the pink flowers, of course. Of course, only my Maddie. <laughs> and then over on this side, we have got Diana. And Diana is having purple flowers as well. So at the minute I only have purple roses and I've only got one purple tulip, which I've put in one of the crossbreeding sessions because um, I obviously want to try and get more of those before I place them into people's homes. Uh, but here we've got my lily crossbreeding uh, beds. This is my favorite, this uh, shell fountain in the pearl customization tone. Oh my God, amazing, the best. <laughs> Uh, here we've got Flurry's house. I actually gave her one of these things to put in her door So I think I should do that for everyone, but um, she's got yellow uh, Have I got any more yellows in here? I have a yellow hyacinth, but that would be the same so we'll not do that <laughs> But yes, I think the yellow looks lovely with her home and over here. We've got Billy He's gonna have blue, but again, I only have two types of blue flowers. So it all is kind of the same at the minute um, Then we've got my roses crossbreeding here and just a cute little well area for people to sit and chill out. Uh, Frita's house, of course, is orange. How can I not do orange? Um, I know you can get green flowers, but I'm not sure how easy that is. So maybe in future, if I get those, I can change her to green. And we have got Bo's house. So I thought white was really beautiful against the wood of Bo's house. Um, again, he's a new villager that I just got. You'll see me getting him if you watched my previous video. And to the final part of the island that's actually complete, we walk in here and we're at the campsite. So in you come. Oh, Diva's here, she's doing some fishing. Um, either side, I've just put these little forest areas just so you can sort of walk around, relax. Um, some flowers in there as well. Same on this side. And we've got the garden lanterns, which may I add are up. Oh, I meant to pick up the branch, not the garden lantern. Uh, but yes, I really love the garden lanterns. I think they're just so beautiful. Oh my god, I did it again. All right, I'm gonna place it and I'm not gonna pick up the the branch. We can just forget about the branch. But yeah, all in all, that's really all I have done to my island so far. Um, let me pull up the map. So you can see there's still a lot of empty space. I think what I should really work on next would be my house. So I need to get my house down uh, from the... Uh, the cliffs so I think what's gonna have to happen which is really annoying is that I'm gonna have to move my house onto flat land remove all of the cliffs and then move it back so that's gonna cost a bit of money but it's fine I, lo I got lucky with the turnips recently so I'm not gonna complain too much about that <laughs> but yeah so so for now that's all I really have to do with my island I hope that you enjoyed it um, I can't wait to show you all what I do in future with it with sort of updates and things like that um, it would be great to hear your opinions. I do love to hear from you guys. So if you did enjoy it, I would uh, like a like. I would like a like. I would appreciate a like, um, a comment if you wanted to talk to me about it. And also you can subscribe if you want to see more. There will be some Sims content coming up soon as well. Um, so subscribe if you're interested in that as well. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Bye.